Want to know how babies tell if two people are close to each other? They look at how often they swap spit. Oh my. This in a report at Study Finds, where we invite you to like and subscribe for the latest info. Neurologists at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology identified that children use a specific signal to discover whether two people have a strong relationship and a mutual obligation to help each other. Whether they're kissing, sharing food, or having other interactions that involve sharing saliva. In the new study, the researchers showed that babies expect people who share saliva to help each other in distressing situations, much more so than when people share toys or interact in other ways that do not involve saliva exchange. These findings suggest that babies can use these cues to try and work out who around them is most likely to help them. The researchers observed a group of toddlers between 16 and a half and 18 and a half months old, and babies between 8 and 10 months as they all interacted with human actors and puppets. In the first set of experiments, a puppet shared an orange with one actor and then tossed a ball back and forth with a different actor. Then researchers had a puppet show distress. In the study, the MIT team found that the children were more likely to look towards the actor who shared food with the puppet, not the one who shared a toy when the puppet was in distress. In the second set of experiments designed to focus more specifically on saliva, the actor either placed her finger in her mouth and then into the mouth of the puppet, or placed her finger on her forehead and then onto the forehead of the puppet. Later, when the actor expressed distress while standing between the two puppets, children watching the video were more likely to look towards the puppet with whom she had shared saliva. These findings suggest that saliva sharing is likely an important cue that helps infants to learn about their own social relationships and those of people around them. The team conducted later experiments over Zoom, and the results were similar before and after the pandemic, confirming that COVID-related hygiene concerns did not affect the results. Find more detail on this and other studies at studyfinds.com.